Yeah, you feeling that vibe, spring this year? <laughs> of course, and now what better way to welcome the season than with a delicious Waterblomeke salad? Yeah, you heard correctly. Waterblomeke is also known as Cape Pondweed, Cape Asparagus, and Flay Course has been enjoyed for decades due to its availability and ability to thrive, which led to their popularity in South African cuisine today. And now Chef Jay from The Kind Kitchen is well known for his love of all things plant-based and of course meat-free. And this recipe is no exception. Chef Jay, ah, hey. I'm so excited, man. I've been tasting the food coming in The Kind Kitchen. It's beautiful stuff. Awesome, thanks, right? Ticks all Nature Boys boxes, of course. And yeah, that's this Vatablomiki stuff, I I'm, I'm hearing good things about it. It's eh? crazy, man. I mean, this is a local delicacy that comes out around this time of year you guys can find this at uh, food lovers pick and pay checkers they're springing up everywhere around this time of year and um, what's great is that it's seasonal okay so what I'm gonna ask you to help me with um, first off is we're gonna take these potatoes All and right. start getting the pesto in here so we're making it's our take on a pesto salad uh, a potato salad right so we're using pesto in the potatoes instead of the mayonnaise that you would normally use okay. in a potato salad and the mayonnaise we're using on the top today to make something along the lines of like a ranch dressing. All, all right. right. Are you so, sure you're going to be comfortable? Leave me on your own with. Uh, I reckon my it's own fine. You know, Nicole's sure. done all the hard work behind the <laughs> all scenes. Right, so already. I'm going to grab the bowl and I'm going to mix it up with yeah. the pesto. Right. So while you're doing that, yeah. I'm just going to talk to the viewers a little bit about the Vatablomikis here. So these ones here have been um, cooked already, but what you need to look out for is they are quite uh, dirty most of the time because they do grow in a pond, right? Okay. So we've got to get them into salt water straight off. So I've got some salt water here. And I'm just going to soak them. And you would also need to look out for trimming the ends off. And you'll see a lot of the dirt will start coming out. And the it's salt. It's like cleaning a prawn, basically. Correct. Like yeah, the salt actually prawn. helps with getting all of that dirt okay. out. Okay. okay, I got you. Um, so today's salad, we've got some seasonal veggies like our butternut, some beetroots that we've roasted up. We've got some beautiful herbs here. We've got some chives. We've got some dill, some parsley, and then some fresh leaves. So um, seasonal leaves like baby spinach. Yeah. Yeah. beetroot leaves those would go really well with this and then just top it all off so when you're making a salad you want to really build it up right from the base upwards as you can see here this final plated dish that mm. Nicole's done for us here and the ranch dressing brought to us today by be well you know we've used mayonnaise we've used a little bit of lemon juice and all of those herbs that I discussed earlier oh, on. Beautiful, yeah. Chef Jay. I'm how did, how did you come along there? So what I noticed is obviously I think I own this. I'm okay. ready to, I'm ready right. to join the and ranks for you, Chef. it helps if it's chef. warm as well, right? <laughs> yes. If it's warm, then it absorbs all those flavors. Okay, doesn't? I thought it was a little bit easier. What I am noticing is um, I'm just distracted by the smell. It's yeah. so good. I'm getting garlic oh. out of here. It's nice and strong, if, if I'm correct or a not. A good pesto, yeah. It needs is to that have right? that. Okay. And a vegan pesto, no cheese, unfortunately, guys. No cheese in yeah, a vegan okay. pesto. Okay, okay, of course. Dairy-free, I like it. So I've got that done for you, Chef. It smells delicious, of course. I mean, I probably would just eat that on its own, to yeah. be very honest yeah, with you. Absolutely, potatoes, <laughs> man. So it's our take on a potato salad today, uh, being spring day. Happy spring day. All right. It's still cold stuff. out there. Okay, so can I, can, I, can I dig in and try some? Yeah, go for it, please. It's the morning. We've got uh, half the uh, spring on the this. way. I need yeah. to be uh, the proof in the pudding. Get a little sure bit of garlic it, in there. That it tastes good, all right? Yeah. So we're getting some of the garlic, of course. We've got the Vata Blomaki. What do I expect to taste? Because I've actually never had one of these. So it's kind of like green beans, right? With okay. a touch of lemon, I would think. But it's, right. it's so strange. Do I put the whole thing in my mouth? I, I would think so. <laughs> I'm Go scared, guys. Sorry. National TV is the first time I had one of these, and I don't want to spit it out. Mmm. <laughs> Wow. How's, how are those flavors with the dill and uh, the I garlic? I definitely was just expecting to eat a prawn. To oh, be yeah. very honest yeah, with you, absolutely. it's nothing like so that. I think, I think this week in the kitchen back in Woodstock, I'm actually going to um, deep fry these bad boys and try like get a tempura. Like a, like a tempura. Oh, prawn. now we're so, talking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> of course, guys, at EverythingExpressoShow.com. You can find some of this recipe inspiration. I'm joined here with Chef Jay. We're doing some meat free infusions, of course, and we're using Vata Blomikis and. Mm, Got little pieces stuck in my mouth all, and it tastes so, so good. It's fresh, it's pure, and it's the perfect, I would say, additive to something like this. It's a beautiful salad. Yeah. yeah. Chef Jay. Thank you very much. Beautiful stuff, man. Thank you, guys. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy this. Cheers, guys. <laughs> Love, food, life.